WSJT X will send all of us. No, I'm more of you. I got fresh from your funeral and serve our side of the performance of President of the Earth Lords. As far as I'm not stupid about everything we could have spent, spent it. We're not a pure ones. Uh, is that actually fair for CW? Uh, I think hardly anybody has even two and a half to a few hours of benefits for CW. Mm -hmm. You know, then it would be scared with the benefits ratio? C CW, uh, on the scale of, of uh, signal noise ratio that we use, uh, CW can be heard <coughs> down to about minus 15 dB. Yeah. So the, the very best CW operators in copying weak signals can copy down to about minus 15. Why is that? Because obviously you need a, a signal noise ratio greater than zero dB in some sense in your ear. But your ear has good filtering. Your ear has a filter bandwidth of something like 100 hertz. Uh, and if you're a good operator, maybe even 50 hertz. And that's that's why you can copy CW down to something like minus 17. Yeah. Minus. But what I'm referring to, you are using a far smaller bandwidth for CW in practice. 250 hertz or 500 hertz. The receiver bandwidth doesn't matter if your ear is good at picking up the signal anyway. It's, it's, it's the total bandwidth that matters. Second part is, uh, will it help your algorithm if you reduce the bandwidth? No. No, you can reduce the... You can reduce the receiver bandwidth to less than three kilohertz today and not get any advantage other than getting rid of some uh, signals that otherwise may be too strong. But uh, already the software does all of the filtering necessary and the ultimate detection bandwidth is only a few hertz uh, depending on the mode. The ultimate yeah. detection bandwidth should be equal to the symbol rate, which is six hertz for. Uh, oh, it's more the dynamic bandwidth yeah. should be used. I think we should break it up at that time, folks. I'd be happy to talk with any of you.